Indians trying to make it two in a row against the Orioles over at Progressive Field. Uh, made a roster move today. Eli Morgan recalled from AAA and Owen Miller sent down. So Eli Morgan uh, will get his second stint with the Indians, um, a starter, and the Indians need some arms. Ernie Clement will be making his first start in the major leagues today. He is starting at second base. Cesar Hernandez is going to be the DH in this one tonight. And uh, Cal Quantrill will get the start, and John Fanta, Cal Quantrill, and all these young guys are going to get an opportunity. Terry Francona needs one of these, one, two, or three of these young starters to take advantage of what's uh, in front of them and step up and, and um, go five, six innings for them. Yeah, Terry Francona's going to have to work uh, some of the most magic that he's ever had to, to be tasked with in his career. Let's face it, you lose – Four of your five starting pitchers from the opening day rotation uh, back in April, you're going to have an uphill climb. And that's that's the, the thing facing the Indians right now. They have a window here that if Shane Bieber's injury, you, you knock on what you, you, you hope it's not as bad as it could be in that the Indians have a manageable rest of their month of June. But Aaron Savali, when he's on the rubber, I think he's going to be asked to go seven innings uh, from a minimum standpoint. And Savali has it in him to, to go that long. He, he's got a rubber arm of sorts and, and can go seven, eight innings in a game. It's, it's why he's been at the top of the league and wins. But I, I think that where I get concerned is one thing that the Indians have had better than anybody in baseball or just about that is their bullpen. It's only June, though. And if you're constantly asking your bullpen to come in right now in the fifth and sixth innings of games, it could bog them down. You know, you do wonder, James Karinchek and Emmanuel Classe have been two of the best relievers in baseball, but if they're being called upon every night and, and four outs here, five or six outs there, I do wonder how sustainable it is. The fact is the Indians are searching for someone you just said it, two or three guys to give them distance. Cal Quantrill was part of the Mike Clevenger trade because the thought in mind was he could be a Swiss Army knife type of pitcher. They need him to start showing he can start games and stay in games, and that's got to really get going here tonight because the Indians are in a playoff race. They are in the mix. Does the on-paper talent necessarily uh, look like that always? No, it doesn't. This team is tied with the Oreos with just 161 runs on the season. They're in the bottom 10 of baseball um, in runs scored, in OPS, in batting average as well. When you combine that with a, a bullpen having to be tasked with about half the amount of work to get through a game and a rotation right now, that when you rely on young arms to begin with, now you get even younger, it's going to be a tall task here for Quantrill, for uh, J.C. Mejia, who might be coming back and starting this Friday. He might come back on short, shorter rest and try to go three or four innings and they'll piece it together. Uh, Carl Willis has to be up late right now at night trying to figure out what buttons he and Tito are going to push.